Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of Awesome Knots. Today we continue our tour through the new characters and I believe... I think it's Chucho, isn't it? I think that's actually his name. Come on, fingers crossed that we can play him. He is my favorite of all the new characters, so I'm really hoping we can play him today. Taking forever to join a game for some reason. Hello, Awesome Knots, thank you. Aha, Chucho. No one keeps up with me and my Ramona. Alright, so Chucho, as I have mentioned like a hundred times already, Chucho is by far my favorite of all the knots that were added in the Overdrive expansion. And that's saying something, I really enjoy all of them. So Chucho, he's like a bounty hunter or some shit, he gets to do this little double tap thingy. He gets a sticky bomb, and he also of course gets his hyperbike, which is like his key feature. So when he dismounts his bike, it becomes a turret, and it is just awesome. Basically it means I can 1v1 a lot of people really easily. Of course on his bike his right click, or my right click at least, I don't know if that's what it is for you guys, his sticky bomb becomes a like nitro button so I can escape real quick. Escape or engage really now that I think about it. Both would be fine. So we go ahead and drop our turret here and as you can see <laughs> we're just gonna start picking away. Uh oh. I gotta be careful of this fish. Ooh. Thank you. So you can see already my turret's just doing work. I can basically just leave it places if I want to. It can be destroyed, but for some reason people don't seem to really, like, ever, <laughs> like, try and actually attack it. There is an upgrade if they do, that you can get, damn, you can get, like, a shield as long as you stay near it. I have not tried that out yet, though, just because I haven't had the need to. Like I said, it's very rare that anybody seems to actually target my turret, at least as of this point. Maybe that'll change as people kind of get used to the whole Chucho thing. Hit, just hop on and boost away. So what I tend to do, I go for turret damage first because it's basically just like guaranteed, <laughs> guaranteed damage and it's awesome. And then after that I go for the sticky bomb damage because I'm, it's actually really, really good. Once you get it upgraded, it does a lot of damage. And of course, it does do area, area damage. So if they get too close to one of their allies, they'll do damage to them as well which is just great. I'm gonna go ahead and jump down here. Oh, okay. And take these out as quick as possible. Hello. Not today, Raylan. Not today. You guys <laughs> need to go back. You're hurting me. So the key as far as I'm concerned so far, it seems to be to just make sure that you're always moving your turret, repositioning it somewhere better. Of course, you are faster when you're actually on it anyways, on your bike, so you should be using that to travel. But the cooldown is just ridiculously low, so you might as well just be putting it wherever the action is, rather than just leaving it somewhere, in my opinion. Ooh, I could be in trouble. I need to get on there and run. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and so now that I'm going back, I'm actually going to drop this here. It will stay as I teleport back. Doesn't mean I have to walk back by myself, but boohoo, you know. Not really a big deal. So I think I am gonna go for, ooh, gonna go for some regen right off the bat. My entire team just left. Um, <laughs> excuse me? Team? Why you all just leave me suddenly? Why you guys do this? Now I have to defend all by myself with robots? I have no idea what happened. Okay, I'm gonna stick a sticky bomb on him. Keep trying to pick away at him. No idea. Well, there goes a turret, which is unfortunate. It is worth mentioning you can shoot while you're on the bike as well. Kinda hard to aim though, you can only shoot forward. So it's a little bit different, you know, it has nothing to do with your mouse. But it is definitely really good for like chasing people down. Total whiff on that. Yeah. <laughs> and we're gone. So, uh. So, um, guys, <laughs> can we uh, maybe have some have some peoples back? That's okay. We'll just try and hold out, do our best. We should be getting more people pretty soon. It's a Saturday, like, afternoon. I'm sure there are plenty of people playing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. Never mind, I can't afford it. Let's grab boots. Just make sure, make sure we stay nice and speedy. Hello. Okay, do some area damage on this. 
I bet this guy can solo my turret, can't he? Yep, two shots it. But that's okay, when your turret gets destroyed, you do suffer a slightly longer cooldown than normal. But it's really not that bad, like, 30 seconds and we're up again. Okay, place my turret here again. Oh, there is a short cooldown in between mounting and dismounting. So you can't just spam it, like, right away, but that's okay. Alright, so here we get some people. Who do we get? Ooh, we got a Ray. I'm okay with that. And we have a... Oh, Leon, too. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So we did lose one turret in that you know, whole bot interaction, but not a big deal. I think everything's going to be a-okay. It does appear that turrets tend to focus on heroes before they focus on bots, which is awesome. Seems like a smart design. Ugh, these freaking things. I hate them. Go away. Oops, wrong button. That's okay. All your cooldowns are on pretty, pretty low. Which is really nice, because if you do something like that and you accidentally mess up using something you didn't mean to, you're not really punished very hard for it, which is awesome. And there is actually a new item that I think I mentioned in the last video, but the new Overdrive, like... I don't know what to call it, basic item, in a sense, like the items on the bottom row, is a cooldown reduction, which is real cool. Means you can just spam your skills all over. Oh, that was an awful. Just gonna try and keep him around my turret. I do need to be careful of this Ray. She could snipe me pretty quick right here. We'll just rotate bottom. So you see they did destroy it. And by it, I mean my turret. Again, not a huge deal. As I'm pretty competent without it. Definitely not the best hero, like I can't solo everybody, but I can do some meaningful damage, especially with my grenade. Once I get that thing upgraded, that's a real scary thing. So that's an awful, awful place for my turret, so I'm just going to go pick it up, move on. Down we go. Oh, focus him. There we go. Cool. Good job, Leon. Good job. Thanks for doing the help. Aw, I want my turret back. Why well, you gotta be so brief? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and run back. Probably a bad time to be doing that, as we are down a player, but, you know. So we're gonna be picking up the 12th gear, which is gonna give us extra damage on our turret. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Anything else we want at the moment? I think we'll just pick up our regen here as well, real quick. As long as we have the money for it. Hi, do you want to fight me? <laughs> so the key, I think, is really remembering to just stick around your turret. You're not super good at, like, aggressing in a sense. Did I get him? Didn't need to. By yourself, you are not super good at aggressing. You're, you excel at zone control, basically. So that's what you should always be trying to do, is have, a, have an area that you're just denying to the enemy team. See? Froggy doesn't want to come in. He's scared. He's intimidated by the turret. Eh. Probably not worth that right there. Here we could get a potentially good push. Uh, though, maybe not with you here. Okay, let's drop our turret out. Not quite within range, but that's okay. I mostly wanted it here for an escape. Gonna throw my sticky bomb on there. Just kinda keep him away, and we're out of here. Okay, I'm coming up top to help Ray. Not gonna deploy just yet, because I would like to wait for this type of a thing. Oh, can I get her? Not quite. The sticky bomb has kind of this weird, like, fall to it. Like, it it arcs and then, like, drops really fast. Kind of hard to get used to, but that's okay. Hello. You want to stay away from us, please? See? <laughs> I just threw it, like, nowhere. Now, it is worth mentioning 
in case you guys haven't played Chu yet, Chucho, whatever. Uh, his, oh, hello, his grenade works a little bit like Lone Star's uh, dynamite, like you have to charge it up for a minute. Or more, you can charge it up for a minute, I should say, to throw it farther. Except, unlike Leon, not Leon, Lone Star's dynamite, you can actually aim it. Okay, nothing's, nothing's happening here. <laughs> we have a good push up here, never mind. I was wrong. So you can hold it and kind of aim it just a little bit. Kind of weird. But not too bad to get used to. I'd love to get this turn right here if we can. I'm awful at pushing turns, but I'm gonna... Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was worth it, though, I think, for the money. I'm gonna hope it was, at least. So we are gonna upgrade our turret once more. And I want to save up for one of these two next. 185, or I missed it. Those two, one is just base damage on my sticky bomb. The other is like a damage over time to anybody who enters that circle, including whoever you stick it to. So it's just extra damage, which is awesome. There we go, now I can get it. I like to go for this first, just because I'm a sucker for damage over time. I don't know that it's better or worse one way or the other. Okay, we're gonna try and get down here. Aw, she did not like my turret. Why she gotta be so mean like that? Oh, you guys just stop it. <laughs> Is he gonna come after that? No, okay, we're fine. Everything's cool. Gonna be enough, but gotcha anyways. It's good practice. I really should be building some more HP. Chu is fairly squishy, and we do have a lot of burst on the enemy team, so it's actually a pretty big deal that I have not died a whole lot yet. Turret's too far back. That's okay. Throw that out just to be annoying. Uh, not worth moving up, I don't think, right now. You really have to pick your timing when you're going to place your turret. You can't just throw it willy-nilly. Okay, this could be good. I'm going to try and body block for her, and turret's going to take her down. Please don't hit me. Ah, oh, you missed. Oh, oh, ah. <laughs> We're fine. Everything's cool. Whew. Oh, maybe. Yes. Yes, my turret got her. I think. Oh, no, never mind. I saw the 30. I thought my turret had killed Ray on the way back. That would have been so cool. Uh, let's go ahead and finish our damage over time. And I think... We're, I mean, we should be dying a lot, but we aren't so far. So I don't think I'm going to invest money in health just yet. I'm going to try and keep them, keep them on the defensive. And keep myself nice and aggressive against them. Did I get someone with that? I'm not really sure. Maybe I did. Aha! I definitely did get someone with it. Ah, damn. I was hoping she'd come up here and I'd grab her with a sticky bomb. Okay. Place this here. Alright. Things are going good. And when it's time to go, we just go! <laughs> Woo! That was a good placement on that rift. But thanks to Nitro, we are just out of there. And then we can just be right back in. We got him, right? We got him. Yeah, damage over time. Oh, I got that kill? How did I get that kill? Question mark. Okay, I'm actually going to stay on my bike this time because if people are here dangerous to be around. I want to be able to nitro away instantly. Ah, uh, da, da, da. should I go back or not? Got her! Bye bye, Raylan. Okay, turret's doing work. 
Now, your turret is not 100% accurate. Like, they're not homing shots or anything. That's worth noting. So it's not, like, guaranteed damage, but pretty reliable, that's for sure. Okay, it's time for me to go back now. I got a lot of money to spend. Uh, I think what I'm actually going to grab real quick is one arm Chameleon, is that right? Yes, this makes my next shot after dismounting or using a Sticky Bomb do a short little stun, and it makes it more powerful. So it's a good way to engage. Oops, wrong button. Give me that back. Get over here with Raylin, make sure she's getting back A-OK. -okay. Alright, so now you saw he passed through that, so he does still take damage over time. So that's one of the reasons I really like that upgrade as well. Is even if you don't, like, stick somebody with it, you can still grab some damage. Like, if before, basically, if you miss, it was just like, well, you're done. Like, that's it. Okay, don't want to engage too far here. Jump up top, grab some health, come back down, kill some bots, just rinse and repeat. Think, yeah, I'm gonna place up here. Try and get this push going a little better. They're distracted on the bottom, so this is a good time for us to get damage done up here. Okay, here they come. Ooh, I should have left it. That's okay. I'm actually gonna put this here so that my team has a kind of a barrier or something to peel for him a little bit. Oh, I thought I got him on that. That would have been so cool. Not a big deal. We'll just fall back for a moment. You're just going to leave all that money, Leon? Come on. So much beautiful money. We are in the enemy base, which is great. I would like to get this bottom turret as well, if we can. Just because it's that much more push, that much more pressure to put on the enemy team. But, of course, by keeping this lane pushed as well, we put pressure. There we go, cool. That's going to allow us to push harder on the bottom lane as well. Not going to be able to grab a kill on Vinny there, that's too bad. I thought maybe it would have been enough. Ooh, we got a lot of pushing power right here. This is good. Good, 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 good. Okay. And we can start going in. Oh, let me around you. Damn, missed. I will want to reposition this, so that's why I hop back on. Bring it right about here, just where so I can shoot something. Hopefully the base. I don't know if it actually targets the base. I assume it does. It would seem silly if it didn't. Yeah, yeah, we should probably come back real quick. I'm gonna be in charge of these bots, and then I'm gonna leave. Uh, let's just go with base damage here. Uh, and I guess a little bit extra nitro. We're kind of at the end here, so I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Oop, okay, that's worth noting. <laughs> but it does mean we can go farther on our nitro, which is great. When you get that all the way upgraded, he moves so stupidly fast, and it's, it's just amazing. Like, you get on your bike, and you press that button, and you're just, like, off screen. Like, your enemy will never see you again. Okay, let's hide from the snipe that I thought was coming in. There it is. Hello. Ooh, that might be enough to kill her. Oh, the damage over time is going to get her. Yes! <laughs> and with that, I think this is going to be a GG. I'm hoping at least. We got a huge bot wave here. It's got to be. Oops, messed that up. But that is going to be GG. So there you go, guys. That is Chucho.
by far, once again, my favorite of all the new characters. Not to say that the other characters aren't good, it's just he's like exceptionally amazing. And he just fits my playstyle like really, really well. That's my exact character. Like get in, get in, get out type thing. I love turrets, anything automated. One of the reasons I've always been a fan of Voltar is because he has that automated damage. Basically, he's a walking turret. Now I have my own turret, which is just great. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a rating and a comment down below as it is the best way you guys can help show your support for the series. And I do appreciate every last one I get. Thank you guys once again so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.